people often ask me what what colours I have on my palette and I just thought I'd run through the colours that I normally put out on my palette. You can see it's literally just a piece of greaseproof paper which makes a perfect disposable palette. And going from left to right I've got carmine, viridian green, um, cerulean blue, magenta, uh, violet, uh, that is a, a painting medium, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Then there's um, titanium white, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, and another sort of cadmium orange. Um, the, the medium is an impasto medium, which helps to speed the drying of the oil paints. I don't use... Um, I don't use any um, earthy colours. I try to mix all my colours. And I'm going to just quickly show you how I would mix some greys. So, first of all, I'm going to get some white and a little bit of the medium. And I'm going to mix it on the palette. Now, for greys, generally, you want the opposite colours. So I'm going to start with some of the red and then mix in some green. And start to get... You can see that sort of graying effect with the um, different, the contrasting contemporary colours. And then you can just go on like this and you can add in, I'm going to now try the violet. And then perhaps add in some of the cadmium orange. And you're going to get a little bit more white there, a little bit of slightly different grey, perhaps a little bit more of that one. And then you can um, add, you know, perhaps three colours, a bit of the green, just to adjust it slightly. And you can see then slightly different grey. And you can go on and on, just trying out different combinations of, of contrasting colours together. Let's try yellow, add a bit of yellow. And you can see I haven't cleaned my palette knife. Um, so all the colours are getting mixed together, but I rather like that. So you can see you don't need to get earthy colours necessarily. You can uh, mix these more primary colours together and get some lovely subtle shades. Hope you found that helpful.